Hey guys, can you hear me? Yes, um, making sure you guys can still hear me before I start the game. If no one answers in 10 seconds, I'll just start. Oh, I'm putting all my the discs for uh, secrets and kill. Yeah, I just um, finished streaming that game. At least you're watching later on wherever I post this, YouTube. Tell me if you guys can hear me, um, if anyone's listening. Okay, you can hear me? Okay, great. Anyways, welcome back, uh, Trisha. Glad you can make it back to the second stream. Let's put it in this cursey to injury. Okay, let me turn on the webcam. Ooh. Oh. Yeah. Let's see, edit, scene. Let's shrink this. Okay, uh, so you should be able to see me better now. So, um, we're gonna play Stay Tuned for Danger. Um, as you can see in the little the picture right there. There. Picture right there. Um, there it is. Okay. Oh wait, there. Hey, you guys ready? We're going to start. And monitor capture, and let's go. Stay tuned for the video. Make sure you guys can see the game. Okay, looks like you guys can see it. Uh, let's go with Master Detective. Master Detective. Dear Bess, you'll never guess who I'm visiting in New York. Maddie Jensen, your favorite soap star from Light of Our Love. Maddie is renting Aunt Eloise's apartment in New York. And after hearing about my last case, Secrets Can Kill, Maddie called to invite me up here. According to Maddie, Rick Arlen is getting death threats but he won't go to the police, so she wants me to do some investigation work. Can you imagine anyone not liking Rick Arlen, daytime's cutest hunk? I have a sneaking suspicion, though, that there's more to this case than meets the eye. Call you later, Nancy. Just a second. Make sure the characters are not made. Right, I forgot. Yeah. You're celebrating your seven... Come on in, Nancy. The door's open. Um, let's see what we have here. So we have stairs we can change day or night. Let's go. Here's Maddie. Welcome to New York, Nancy. 
I'm really glad you could come out here on such short notice. I'm happy to help in any way I can. Aunt Eloise told me that someone on the set is getting death threats. Well, for the past month, my co-star, Rick Arlen, has been getting these awful death threats. At first, we all shrugged it off. You get the occasional odd letter in this business. But then they started to get weird. Weird? They're totally bizarre. Not only did he get letters, but somebody sent him a box of poisoned chocolates, a broken watch, and then there's that whole thing with the teleprompter. Tell me about the letters. Well, the first ones had the letters cut out of magazines, you know, like on a ransom note. They were all signed by someone named B.T. Kaiser. Somehow the news leaked out and the press totally jumped on them. Then they started getting ugly and twisted. Someone sent him poison chocolates? Rick's a major chocoholic. His fans and friends are always sending him boxes of candy. But these chocolates were so nasty, Rick spit them out. <laughs> I've never seen Rick say no to chocolate before. Did Rick go to the police? No, and that's the problem. No one is taking any of this seriously. Especially Rick. He thinks nothing will ever hurt him. Nancy, I'm running late. I need to get to the studio. Hey, why don't you come over and visit? I'll leave a visitor's pass for you at the security desk. Oh, before I forget, here's a copy of the house keys. I'm always losing my keys, so I've got plenty of copies. I'll write the studio's address on your map. Just catch a taxi cab outside and show them the map. They'll know how to get there. Okay. Let's go there. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Here we are. We have our elevator music here. Can I help you? Yes. Maddie Jensen left a visitor's pass for me. It should be listed under Nancy Drew. Here you are. You'll need to sign for it. You'll need to come to this desk every time you enter so I can log you in. Have a nice day. There we go. Okay. Running right now, so we have to go. This I don't game care who he is. No one breaks a contract with Bill Pappas. <laughs> yeah, that would actually be pretty funny. On but the game wasn't as It's open! Sophisticated, sadly. They should really do a Hey, Nancy! Glad you game. could make it. We'll be shooting soon, so I only have a couple of minutes to chat. Can you tell me why someone would want to send these threats to Rick? He's talented, handsome, and rich. Some people would hate him just for that. But Rick wouldn't hurt a fly. I have no idea why someone's trying to scare him with these threats. So how long have you been a couple? You mean off-screen or on-screen? You see, Rick well. and I dated when we were with the touring company for Romeo and Juliet. I'm sorry. I meant, how long have Serena and Rory been a couple? Ever since I got on board about a year ago. Rick had been on the show already for one or two seasons, and the writers decided to make us a couple. You know, Yuri Danner, Rory's twin brother, was pretty upset with that. Do you think it could be him? I'm sorry, Nancy. Well, it's been a running yeah, joke around here. Told. You see, Rick's character has the an evil twin, hair. Yuri, and everyone's been saying yeah. that it's him who's causing With all this Wayne's trouble. Hair. But seriously, Looks I have no like... idea who could be behind this. Oh, look at the time. I've got to get it's, to makeup. Just so hey, why don't you come down to the hair. set in a few minutes? I'll be shooting a scene with Rick. In the meantime, make yourself at home. His hair just looks like a solid, polished chunk of... It's, it's weird. Okay. Let's go visit the set. I need something to make this work. It's like Barbie here. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Places, everyone! Are we locked in? Yes, Miss Wise. We're clear to shoot. Have we blocked this already? <laughs> Yes, I think. Quiet on the set! 
Is the floor ready? Check. Audio. Uh, check. Roll, Roll tape. tape. Stand by camera one. Stand by music. Take camera one. Rory, I have to talk to you. I don't want to see you, Serena. No, Rory, don't go. I love you. I don't want to see you, Serena. <laughs> Sheesh! What was that? I could have been killed! Get my agent on the phone, now! I don't want to see you, Serena. <laughs> Clear them out, everybody. Looks like that's a wrap for today. Stage crew, you're on standby. Okay. Um, I was looking at chat real quick. Uh, grab the screwdriver. Oops. Skills. <laughs> What kind of studio are you running here? My client could have been killed! I told you I'd get to the bottom of this. I've already closed the set to visitors. Oh, so that means work. But to work with this studio. Yeah, it would, it would be really cool. One thing I've, I've always wanted to do is voice acting. Because you don't have to do stuff like in front of the camera and you're not like famous. Unless, unless you want to be famous. It's, it's, it would be May fun. I help you? I would do it. I'm a bit lost. Can you please direct me to Maddie Jensen's room? Do I look like a tour guide? Look, the set's closed to visitors. I'll need to take your pass away. But if it's any consolation, I'll be more than happy to show you the door. Yeah, so stay tuned for danger does not have the scrolling up and down option. It's open! Oh, Nancy, this is horrible! There's no way that could have been an accident! I think it's another attempt to get Rick. The timing's just too weird. All of these threats, and now he's almost killed on stage! I'm too upset to deal with this. I gotta get out of here. I need some space. We'll talk later. Go talk to Maddie again. Hey, taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! It's locked. Jeez. Hi, Nancy. I'm sorry for skipping out on you like that. I guess I'm not a very good hostess. It's just that this whole thing with Rick really shook me up. I just ran into Lillian. And she kicked me out of the studio! Yeah, Lillian's pretty cranky these days. Wait a minute. I've got an idea on how you can get back into the studio. You know, my agent could get you a job as an extra so you could get on the set. You don't have to do anything. They just need to have people standing by. Really? Who is your agent? Dwayne Powers. We've been friends for years. I'll give Dwayne a call first thing tomorrow. Just stop by there in the morning. I'll tell him you're an old family friend who's decided to try out acting as a career. Oh, that'd be great. Thanks, Maddie. Well, I'm sure you've got to rehearse for tomorrow. Yeah, I should get back to learning my lines for tomorrow. Okay. Good luck! Bye, Maddie. Um, we'll, we'll, leave, we'll leave you in peace. Taxi! Yeah, what's the address? 318 West 10th Street, please. You got yeah. it. Go away! Don't you understand? Mr. Powers, Maddie Jensen sent me to see you about a job as an extra. I'm sorry. I'm in Sweet 101. Come in. That noise hurts me every single time. Come in. I apologize for my abrupt greeting. You must understand that if I opened my door to every struggling actor in this town, I'd never be able to get my work done. 
I'm a friend of Maddie Jensen. She told me you might uh, be able to get me a job as an extra on Light of Our Love. Ah, yes. Maddie just called me. You're Nancy Drew, am I correct? Maddie spoke highly of your abilities, and I am more than happy to give a young actor a chance, if I can. Normally I don't do this, but seeing that you're a friend of Maddie's, I could pull some strings for you. You see, Worldwide uses me almost exclusively for hiring their talent. Not only did I provide them with Maddie Jensen, but Rick Arlen as well. You're Rick Arlen's agent? Yes, yes I, I was. was. But, but I, I must confess, confess that the man has no talent. talent. Were it not for his good looks That's and charm, he'd never have game. gotten to where he, he is now. You see, Rick foolishly believes acting is a status symbol, not an art form. He's a ladder climber who'll use anyone to crawl his way to the top. A ladder he's sure to fall from one of these days. Well, Nancy, you must be anxious to start this assignment. I'll call right now and have a pass waiting for you at the reception desk. Now, if you'll please excuse me, I must get back to work. It was a pleasure meeting you. Please call on me for any other needs you may have. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Can I help you? Hi. I've been hired as an extra by the Powers Agency. Here you are. You'll need to sign for it. You'll need to come to this desk every time you enter so I can log you in. Thank you and uh, good luck. I don't know if you guys knew, but um, the same person who plays Dwayne plays uh, Ralph, the security guard. You might have already known that, but... It's open! It's open. Yes, my dear. Hi. How can I enter the prop room? I see. Well, I don't just let anyone enter my prop room without showing me that they're clever enough to take on the responsibility. Listen to my riddle, and when you know the correct answer, I'll let you in. The more you make, the more you leave behind. Oh, that was pretty easy. Let's try another one. What has four fingers and a thumb, but is not alive? Very good. Let's see if you can answer one more. What is full of holes, but holds water? That's it. I have stumped many people with my watch, riddles. Watch her eyebrows. You are Just quite look the at her eyebrows. You may go and enter the prop room now, <laughs> while I go and unpowder really my nose. <laughs> Same with Lillian's eyebrows. It's just so funny. Let's see. You may rather make fun of where I type in all of <laughs> Okay, that's actually really funny. I'm not gonna lie, that is really funny. Oh no. It's this. On Master Sleuth. I'm gonna die everyone. I'm actually fairly good at these puzzles, they just take a while. Should 
here. Not there. Grab the wire cutter things, pliers, whatever they're called. Oh, okay. There's a spider there. Entrez-vous? Hello, gorgeous. <laughs> Where have you been all my life? Well, for a guy who just barely escaped a terrible accident, you're in an incredibly good mood. Of course, of course I am. I was lucky. If you're gonna be in an accident, that's the best way to be. Don't you agree? But then I've always been a lucky guy. I just met you, Miss Drew. Do you really think it was just an accident? I see Maddie's been talking to you about me. Of course it was just an accident. Things like this just happen. Is it lucky to receive death threats and poison chocolates? Poison chocolates? <laughs> oh dear, Maddie's really gone over the top with this. They were just a bad batch, that's all. Look, if you dare me, I'll eat one. But if we're gonna play that game, I'd prefer another dare. So, how about it, Nancy? Truth or dare? Okay, truth. Admit it. You find me irresistible, don't you, Nancy? Uh, actually, I find those letters you've been getting irresistible. I just love a good mystery. Oh, you're no fun. <laughs> well, mi casa es su casa. You know, my house is your house. Well, feel free to examine the evidence, Miss Drew, while I go off the wardrobe. Have a chocolate while you're at it. Stay beautiful. What should we do? Go to Hey, Go taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! It's locked. I need 
need something to make this work. We're here on the set at Worldwide Broadcasting Studios with soap heartthrob Rick Allen. The studios are abuzz with talk that you may be heading for a career in films. Will Rory Danner be killed off the show? Rory is a character who is dear to my heart. I never put him in a life-threatening situation. I'll leave that to the writers. Well, how could anyone in their right mind leave such a gorgeous co-star, Maddie Jensen? Is it true that your on-stage love affair has led to an off-stage romance? Only my hairdresser knows for sure. Weren't you seen with that actress Greta Von Kamloops at Cannes earlier this year? Any chance you may be starring in a film with her in the near future? Oh no, not while I'm with the WWB Network. Our sources say that you've been a victim of a stalker, is that true? Well, yes, in a sense. I feel like I'm being watched at every moment, and always at the same time. Weekdays from 2 to 3 on Channel 13. Oh, Rick. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Can I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you, you may proceed. Go talk to Rick again about that interview we just saw. Hello? There we go. It was pretty scary for a minute there. And then what happened? Once I defused the bomb and got out of there, I called the police, and I was stuck at the station for hours. They searched the dressing room and sent the bomb off to the crime lab, but they didn't find anything. Oh, and remind me to thank Chief McGinnis when I get back home. He vouched for me when I asked for a copy of the tape. It sounds like things have gotten way out of control. Oh, Ned, I've got another call. It's probably the police. I love you, and I promise I'll be careful. Call you later, okay? Okay. Hello, Ms. Drew. This is Bill Pappas, the producer for Light of Our Love. I just wanted to thank you for your quick thinking and valiant efforts today. I understand that you've been detained at the police department. Yes, I was. They needed a statement from me. What type of information? I'm sorry, but I need to keep that confidential. You'll need to ask the police about that. Nancy. Can I call you Nancy? I hate to be blunt about this but we can't allow anyone to just walk into people's dressing rooms. Perhaps we can meet in person to discuss the case. Uh, no. I'm very busy at the moment. But seeing what you did today, I guess I owe you one. What do you need to know? Can you think of anyone on the staff who has skills in explosives or electronics? We definitely do not use explosives on our set. We use outside pyrotechnicians for location shoots. And of course, all of our technical crew are very knowledgeable about electronics but I couldn't picture any of them making a bomb. Is there anyone on the technical staff that would hold a grudge against Rick? Look, I'm not the studio psychologist. Rick's not the easiest guy to work with, neither am I. But then, I don't have people leaving me threatening letters in my office. Well, thank you for your help in this matter, Mr. Pappas. Goodbye. Yes, well, thanks again for your brave efforts today. Goodbye. Okay, let's go. Um... This thing. Which basically just gave us, um. The, um Taxi! Where well, can I take you today, so Miss? 1999 Broadway, uh, please. WWB at
sure that's not right now. Let's go here. It's locked. I need to find the key for this. Looks like Owen was on the set every time something happened to Rick. Let's go back to Taxi! Yeah, what's the address? 318 West 10th Street, please. You got it. It's about time you showed up. I've been waiting 45 minutes for that pizza. I 
need something to make this work. Okay, so we have... Taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! It's locked. Oh, I forgot about this. Um, I'm just gonna ignore that. Just at all. Oh, now he's walking better. Oh, it's Dwayne. Hey, Dwayne. Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Can I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you, you may proceed. Well, well, well. I see our local hero has shown up for work. Not only can she waste everyone's time with prying questions, but she can find the time to save Rick from being blown to smithereens. Well, I'll let you get back to your business. Bye bye I'm gonna go here just real quick because I forgot to do something. I need something to make this work. Can I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you, you may proceed. It's you again. What do you want? I thought you might be interested to know that I found a light clamp on the set. 
It looked as if it had been sawed off. That was no accident on the set. It was a deliberate attempt on Rick's life. Well, it looks like we've got ourselves a little Miss Sherlock Holmes on the set. Look, we didn't hire you to play junior detective, so don't be sticking your nose where it doesn't belong, okay? Well, can you tell me something about Owen Spader? No, I can't tell you something about Owen Spader. Why should I? It's none of your business. Well, I'll let you get back to your business. Gee, thanks. Goodbye. Entrez vous, my hero, Nancy Drew. You know, according to ancient tradition, if someone saves your life, you should serve them for the rest of your life. So, what can I do for you, young lady? Your wish is my command. I'm really not that young, Rick. Right, I forgot. You're celebrating your 70th birthday next month? Oh, <laughs> you are so sassy. But that's what I love about you. Sassy. Tell me, Rick, do you know a guy by the name of Owen Spader? Yeah, yeah, I know Owen. He was with the uh, Beekman Theater, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's kind of short and stocky. <laughs> oh, don't tell me you're seeing him. <laughs> don't break my heart, love. Oh, listen, this I gotta go, Rick. So sad. Be careful, okay? Ciao, Bella. Taxi! Where's the lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! It's locked. Wait. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. Can I help you? Hello, here's my pass. Hello, Ms. Drew. Thank you, you may proceed. It's open! Oh, Nancy, I'm so glad that you're okay. Everyone's been talking about that bomb scare. Rick's still shrugging it off, but I can tell he's upset about it. Tell me, do you know someone by the name of Owen Spader? No, that doesn't ring a bell. Wait, no. No, I'm pretty good at names, but I've never heard of him. Well, I'll see you later, Maddie. Bye, Nancy. Taxi! Where to, lady? 7226 Lexington Avenue, please. On my way! It's locked. Hello? I don't have much time to explain. Can you meet me at the studio later tonight? I know you won't have any trouble getting in. Taxi! Where can I take you today, miss? 1999 Broadway, please. I need something to make this work. I see our Miss Snoop has shown up. Why did you ask me to come here? You see, I've been doing my own investigation, and I kept on finding more and more things until... till I got a threatening letter yesterday. Can I see it? Do you still have it? Now do you believe me? Who could be doing this? You must know. It has to be Dwayne. Dwayne Powers? But why on earth would he... Dwayne is a very dangerous individual ready to risk lives to accomplish his deadly campaign against Rick. Once we catch him in the act, the safer we'll all be. That is correct, Ms. Drew. And now for the bonus round. Name the washed up director and interfering actress who will be dead in a matter of minutes. Hurry up, contestants. Time's running out. It's him, up in the control room. And he's locked us in. Lillian, hide. 
Why, hello, Ms. Drew. I only followed Lillian here, but I've trapped both of you. Your deaths will make a wonderful end to Act One. Rick Arlen's death will be the climax to this little soap opera I've produced. I'm calling it One Death to Die. Dwayne, this isn't a soap opera. You're dealing with real people. Real life is a soap opera. You'll learn that. Or rather, you would have learned that had you lived. Maddie still cares for you. You're making a big mistake. Enough! Words, words, words! You will soon see that I am a man of action. I'll come down for the final close-up. I'm gonna write you two out of the script forever. <laughs> yeah, Nancy's dead. So sorry about your short-lived career, oh, Miss Drew. Open up in there. Open up. Words, words! You will soon see that I am a man of action. I'll come down for the final close-up. I'm gonna write you two out of the script forever. So sorry about your short-lived career, Miss Drew. Okay, let's try to speed around this. Open up in here! Races, everyone! Open up! Races, everyone! Words, words! You will soon see that I am a man of action. I'll come yeah. down for the final close-up. I'm gonna write you two out of the script forever. So sorry about your short-lived career, Miss Drew. Okay. Open up in there! Open up! Races, everyone! For you, Miss Drew. What's going on in here? Hey, you! This is the guy we've been looking for. Congratulations, Nancy. You've solved the case. Way to go, Ralph. Forget about it. Dwayne's in the right hands now. Case closed. Dear Bess, Another mystery solved. Yay. Dwayne is now awaiting trial for his attempted murder and has publicly so apologized for his crimes. Lillian has moved out to California and is directing her first film. But the best news is about Maddie and Rick. They finally decided to tie the knot. Well, as Serena and Rory. But who knows? Perhaps it'll rub off on them. There's always hope. 
Love, Nancy. Should I play a uh, message in a home mansion tonight? I can play a um, home mansion now if you guys want me to. That will be the last game I have. I will do um, um, 4 and 5 tomorrow if I do um, 3 today. And then. If you guys don't want me to do a uh, Hunter Mansion tonight, I'll have to do a uh, Hunter Mansion World Tower and Final Scene all So, um, oh wow, okay. So it took a little bit under an hour to beat it. But I kind of played it like really, really fast. Um, so if you guys want me to play um, on the mansion tonight, let me know. I think I might just do it anyways. I will be right back, and I'm going to be playing um, Haunted Mansion. I'll leave you guys with some music in the meantime. Um, so the stream will be back up in about one minute. One, 30 seconds. 30 seconds. And I'll, leave, and I'll um, play the soundtrack for um, Haunted Mansion. Like in the background while the intermission is going on. So I will see you guys. Um, when the stream starts, see you in a minute.